So hi there beautiful people, hope all is well. Welcome to Malmo Sweden here again. Uh, I'm out shooting with a new tripod and it's a tripod that actually surprised me quite a lot and um, the reason for that is the price point. It comes in at $159 and of course depending on where you're gonna buy it you will have uh, taxes and other fees coming in with that but it's still a very cheap tripod and the thing with cheap tripod is that often you can see on the tripods that they lack in quality this is from small rig and small rig is uh, synonymous with coming in with great products for little money and this time they've done it again i think for 159 dollars you couldn't make a better tripod now, of course it won't have all the bells and whistles that you would get on a high-end tripod but still for the money i wouldn't it would actually say that you can't do better than this so this is so this is gonna be like a heavy duty tripod so and i was also surprised about the weight it comes in at 4.5 kilos which is around nine pounds if i've done my maths right and uh, for being a heavy duty tripod it's actually quite little so running around a full day with this tripod isn't gonna be too hard on your back as you can see it doesn't weigh too much you can actually feel and it also has these really smart handles so you can actually carry the tripod really easy uh, i would actually hope that other tripod manufacturers did think about that when they were making their tripod because if you're running around a full day uh, carrying your tripod of course you need a good place to carry it from and well here are a few hidden features and as small rigs many other products they do have allen keys on really strange places but it's so really nice to have because you never know when you do lose your allen keys another th great thing that they do have is that you you can actually change from using manfrotto plates to rs2 plates and that's the dji standard so if you are shooting on a gimbal you fast want to put your camera on a tripod you can do that really easily also i really like the quality of of the hinges is it called a hinge? I'm not really sure. Everything is really good quality, much better than I was actually expecting for the price. Now, when it comes to the stiffness, of course, of this tripod in the pan and the tilt, you can't actually change those values too much. Of course, you can change them a little bit here, but if you're shooting on a telephoto lens and you really want those smooth uh, motions, it's a little bit harder on a tripod like this than you wish you should probably go with a more high-end tripod, a Sackler, a Manfrotto, whatever, where you can actually ch change the tension on the on the tripod. Same thing with the spreaders here. I wish that you could actually change the size of the spreader so you can actually get, get lower than you can on the tripod as of right now. But again, for 159 crowns, dollars, I'm sorry, you were probably not in Sweden, for 159 dollars you could actually get it better. So I probably did forget to mention that this tripod is actually very tall as well. Now that's not a problem for me because I'm not the, the tallest person on the world. But as you can see, it gets to around 186. I would actually say that that's higher, but it, it gets quite high. And I'm 5'7", I think. I'm not sure. 168 centimeters. I'm not sure what that is in inches and feet and everything like that, but yeah. So it gets quite high and as i said for the price i couldn't recommend this tripod more if i would recommend this tripod to anybody if you're an aspiring filmmaker you you're just getting into this you can actually be better also if you often shoot a podcast or like multicam edits where you put the a lot of cameras in different places and you need you really need good tripods where they will be robust this is probably your best bet for 159 dollars your camera will be secure on your tripod so yeah, uh, there's actually not too much more to say about this tripod. I actually, I'm actually really impressed. I would also say that the tension in the fluid head, in the pan and the tilt, for general use is actually quite okay. So even in that regards, if you're trying to get like really smooth shots, you could probably get away with that. And it's probably not as easy as if you would had would have a. Uh, tripod with a lot of with a better tension span but it, this will actually get the job done so guys i really hope you like this video and if you want to see more videos from me like this one don't forget to subscribe to the channel see you soon and bye bye